Hey y'all, my name is Priscilla and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a book review of a graphic novel I recently read and really loved, surprisingly. I didn't think I was going to love this graphic novel as much as I obviously do. And I ended up giving this four stars. And this is a graphic novel that is written and illustrated by the same author. So it does fulfill that book write read harder challenge if you're partaking in that read harder challenge. I'll link that below. But I really loved it. And this is a graphic novel that is really quick witted and that is part memoir, part commentary on wedding culture in the US. And we follow our main character, Lucy. And she's a 20 something year old art student at the start of this graphic novel. And she un tells us the story of her relationship with her now husband. It follows her from her days in Chicago as an art student and their her strained relationship with her at the time boyfriend John and then hit their engagement and then their chaotic and <laughs> crazy adventures in wedding planning and then their wedding day and thoughts after their wedding day. So throughout this graphic novel, Lucy is able to tackle a lot of different wedding and gender stereotypes and she speaks a lot about her struggles with her feminism and her identity as a bisexual woman and uh, wanting to make her wedding unique and special to her in the face of chaos and <laughs> other pressures that are placed on brides. To start the graphic novel, I wasn't sure if I was going to like it as much because Lucy obviously comes from a very privileged background. Um, she's a 20 something year old a white woman, so I wasn't sure if I was really going to be able to relate to because wedding culture and wedding pressures I think are very different for privileged white women and um, her art style is also something that I wasn't sure I was going to enjoy all the way through. Um, she really likes Archie and I feel like her art is very reminiscent of that Archie style which is an art style that I really don't read a lot of and that I wasn't really sure if I was going to be able to enjoy. But the more and more I read of her stories, I actually started to enjoy them a lot more than I thought I would. So uh, like I said, Lucy takes us on a journey. In the first couple of chapters, she talks about her strained relation on and off kind of relationship with her fiance, John. They lived together for some time in Chicago, how they met, and then they ended up separating amicably because John was moving to Nashville to work and she was remaining in Chicago to continue her art. And they maintained a friendship over long distance and realized that they loved each other and were engaged. And then we start to hear a lot about her troubles with uh, planning a wedding. Uh, in one particular chapter, she talks about her identity as a bisexual woman and how she dated so many women in the past and the nights leading up to her wedding, she had nightmares and great fears about how her bisexuality would be erased following marrying a man and obviously being in a long-term monogamous heterosexual relationship. And that's something I really related to and I've never really had heard or read on the page. And she does it in such a humorous and fun way too and she talks about some of her past relationships and she talks about some of her friends, one of her friends in particular who dated a lot of women and following her marriage to her husband was shamed and critiqued and ostracized for being a fraud and I thought that that was so cruel but so relatable and so real. All her stories are very memoir-esque. There, there are things that happen to her specifically and told in great detail to us and at the end of each chapter she kind of takes a theme from one of these chapters and gives a little bit of cultural historical background and I really enjoyed these little end caps to each cap to each chapter um, some of the ones that I really enjoyed were the ring debate I think she calls it the ring game where she talks about how it's ridiculous that there's all these ridiculous expectations of what the ring should be and what it, how many carrots it should be, how expensive it should be, how much of your income you should be wasting on a wedding ring and spending on a wedding ring, I should say. And how she ended up getting, uh, I think her grand, uh, John's great grandmother's ring, which maybe didn't fit the criteria of all these other expectations, but the history behind it is so much more important. And then she talks about how some people don't even have rings and the other kinds of jewelry that people use 
instead of rings have tattoo rings or they have wedding earrings or wedding necklaces so these are things that I've actually thought about so these are things that really really I was happy to see she talks about the, uh, the name changing thing it's automatically assumed that the woman's gonna take her partner's last name and this is something that she didn't want to do she and her husband uh, discussed at length of taking each other's last names as middle names and how complicated that whole process is. I had no idea how complicated this process was. And this is a discussion that I've also had many times about taking each other's middle names because I don't want to take his last name. Not that it's a bad last name, but you know, I love my last name. And I just feel like it erases my identity and uh, taking his last name doesn't make me any more married to him, but it does erase a small part of my family and my history and I'm not okay with that. So I was happy to see that too. So those are all the, pro the pros, the reasons why I love this book. Some of the things I didn't like and the only reason why this wasn't a five star read for me was that Lucy is very privileged and very resourceful in uh, using a lot of the connections that she has to help her build her wedding. Um, for instance, her mother's a chef, so they know a lot of people in food. So they had caterers they knew, they had a local bakery they were able to work with to uh, bake the big goods, and her mother is a craftsman, a craftswoman, and she's able to build a lot of the things, uh, the little, little set pieces, and they build actually a whole barn on her land in upstate New York to have as the reception area. And I don't think that it's fair to assume that you know you should be able to use your resources and not to stress yourself so much about these little things that other people could be helping you with because some people just don't have the time or the resources to do that and she has a very diy mentality as well because she's an artist so she thinks that you can save so much time or money or stress <laughs> if you were just to do it yourself and i don't think that's that's true <laughs> you know some people don't have three weeks vacation to take off which is the amount of time I calculated that she took off before and after her wedding to commit to doing all these things yourselves instead of either hiring other people to do it or just not doing it so that is my very short review of this graphic novel I hope that you enjoyed this review and if any of this speaks to you I would highly recommend this graphic novel it's a cover that I wouldn't even pick up, so don't judge it by its cover, and I hope you enjoyed this review. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye!